beautiful day here in Budapest. Today we are going to visit the Margaret Island. And to get there we are actually going for the number two tram that we talked about in the last video yesterday. The number two tram that supposedly is a nice tour. Let's see how it is. So let's keep going. So a short ride with the tram number two. And it's totally worth to take this tram and to ride and see magnificent views of the Budapest. It was a very short ride, but it was a very scenic, very nice and a cool walk into the city. You can see the whole Buda area, the castle, the bastion. Everything on the Buda side, as well as the parliament building on the Pest side. So it was a very nice tour and a very nice and quick easy way to get to Margaret Island. And right now we're just one walk away on the bridge to get to the Margaret Island, which is right here. Seems pretty big, but we'll make it even bigger. As we always take a little bit longer than supposedly people do. But you never loved somebody like I just did. But you always hurt the ones. Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with. You don't know nothing. So the first thing you will see when you get to the Margaret Island is a huge musical water fountain. And it's right here. This is it, the musical water fountain. So a short walk through the beautiful parks here and now we arrived at the mini zoo and we're gonna go around it because it seems like it's a zoo that you kind of go around it so we'll see what it is one very cool thing that is here in the park but we're still by the zoo but one thing that is cool as you can see there's two paths one is for the people walking and the other one is for runners only and that path goes around the whole margaret island and it even has like the kilometers check marks and we checked it it is actually five kilometers to go around so it's a very cool thing if you're a runner in budapest a very cool place it would be actually very cool like during the day or during like the morning that would be very cool you promise me your everything but never see it through so first thing we have here are the birds and we have like these cages of birds right here and all those different birds and what you hear actually there is the polish bird the one that we always love and talk about yeah, as Polish bird that is actually the bochan is the stork and you can hear them clapping their beaks, it's very cool next up, well this one like I said it was the bird house very nice, now we're heading somewhere there I think there are horses there And next up, we're going to the garden. I think it is. Some kind of a garden. Let's see, right here, right here. Beautiful. But I think Evie is leading us to be going into the front of the park, right? Right. Team leader, right here. So right by the zoo is? Light garden and the rose garden. And right now we are in the 
light garden. And it's very beautiful, very nice open space in the middle of the Margaret Island. Looks beautiful and it's a very nice space. Very nice wide open space and very colorful. So a little bit of a break. Hey? After a quick nap and flying with the drone, I'll let you guess who was taking the nap. <laughs> and we're now heading a little bit farther into the Margaret Island. I think we're going into the Japanese garden or that area. So let's see what we have next. We're now I was taking a nap. <laughs> yes. So we're shooting oh a God. cinematic here. Raining! Yeah, it's starting raining. to rain slightly without any clouds overhead over us, other than the ones a little bit farther. But I was thinking, it's raining. I was taking um, some cinematics of the flowers here, the roses, and goddamn, they smell so good. I had to stop and like have to put this into the video. It smells so good in here. Guess where we are? <laughs> in the garden. Rose garden. Oh, that's the rose garden. Okay, so we are in the rose garden. And that's the rose garden, so that's why it smells so nice. And I actually can see all those different roses here. It's really nice. So now that we are done with the rose garden, it was a very quick stop. It started raining a little bit, but it was a very nice cold shower during a hot summer day now we're actually getting close to another thing here in the um margaret island which is medieval ruins and they're right here if you look here all of that are the ruins welcome to my trip Let's go up there. The ruins are bigger than we expected. They're stretching all the way. As you can see right there. Here, there's other things here. But they're stretching much farther than we expected. We thought it's going to be just like this part here. But then we got on top and it's all of this right there everywhere as you can see so after a short break provided by the rain we are going to the japanese garden and we're gonna be heading this way. Ready V? Yay! We're going to the Japanese garden. It was a little bit raining. It was it was so raining. We found it ourselves was not a little bit raining. Yeah, it was a storm coming. The storm is coming, goes of Tsushima for those that know. We're going into Japanese garden. Everything is making sense now. That was the storm coming. So we're now going into the Japanese garden. I think it is here. That's where it starts, hopefully and it was raining very badly. We found ourselves stranded under the trees. So now let's return to our adventure. What are we gonna do? Ride a haiku. Not a 
so. So welcome to my Japanese garden. Coming back from the Japanese garden, and now we're heading to towards the tram again to return back to the city center. So we are once again in the rose garden, and it's after rain, and it smells so good. As always, after the rain, it kind of brings the sun a little bit more. And Evie was like, "We have to come back here. This is gonna smell so good." if it smells so good before and that's true it smells amazing but you never love somebody like i just did but you always hurt the ones hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with you don't know nothing 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 you don't know what it feels like baby i'm hurting 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 and you don't even ask why so once again we are on the nice way so we said it's gonna be beautiful with the lights on. Let's see. So we just went through the nice, beautiful alleyway with all the restaurants, and we can both definitely say that this is probably a little bit more crowded during the Friday, Saturday and today is Sunday so it's a little bit less crowded but it looks very nice with all the lights on looks very nice and feels very nice Tell me that you care for me but I don't think it's true You say I know you got but baby all you got is you So right now we're once again in the park with the Budapest Eye and right now it's actually the evening so it should be a little bit nicer since everything is lit up like this so we've been to the Budapest Eye and now we're heading back to the square with the basilica and now Evie where are we in front of the Saint Stephen Basilica so one of the goals of right now was to see the basilica see the Budapest Eye in a way that is different during the day and night and it definitely looks very beautiful during the night it feels different than in the day and let me just show you it looks like this during the night very beautiful like you said it does have a, like a 3d effect the building has this effect where the, you can kind of feel like it's 3d because of the way it is made the way it is lit up is a very cool effect and it looks very stunning So that's gonna be it for today but before we end this video a couple things that we want to mention very quickly first off if you like the music in this video or in any other of our work check out the epidemic sound it's gonna be linked down below if you choose to sign up through that link you will get 30 days free second off if you want to support our channel check out our patreon and our website if you choose to become our patron, well, there are things coming back your way because we send them monthly postcards from the places that we visit. Some of them, but the location. And others made from our photos stitched together into a postcard and with handmade drawings on the back. And last but not least, if you want to join a travel community, check out the Facebook group Travel the World. If you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. It's going to be linked down below. So that's going to be it for today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We hope you guys enjoyed this video once again, and we'll see you next time.